five, four, three, two, let's get it. Yeah! Well, 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 it's been a minute since I made a voiceover video, but well, here's one right here. Right, now let's get into this video. In this video, we will be talking about whether I think Wildcats Revenge will be any good at all. Because, I mean, a lot of people have been arguing over if it's, if this will be a really good on here or not, and to be completely honest, I actually kind of agree with them. And I will be stating why. Wildcats event, or as we seriously call it, RMC Wildcats, is going to be Hoshi's newest edition, and I am not that big of a fan of it. I feel like it's on the less intense side of RMC roller coasters, because if you think about it, it's only 140 feet tall, 62 miles per hour, and it's pretty short. If you count how fast you'll be going and divide that by the length of the coaster, you will get that will, you will get the answer. Update. I divided it and you guys are going to go nuts, but this, but with the speed and length combined, it will be 56 seconds long. But let's get back on track. I do like how many airtime moments there are, but I wish this coaster looked more intense. What I do like about the look though is well, in fact, it will have a RMC Trust lip tone, which basically has a really cool look and makes the structure stronger. Along with that, I counted, and this one will have about 7 airtime moments. But I don't expect this to have great airtime due to it only running 62 miles per hour, but there's still airtime, so... This crystal has the biggest step up underflip in the world. Which, if you ask me, that's a shitty record to break. Also, one more thing, this video is not meant to hate on this coaster at all. I just don't think it can be that good, considering the stats and that animations aren't always accurate. But anyway, I never rolled a coaster with a step up under flip, so I'll get an even worse in credit, technically. And there is, and there's this like weird part where it does the Start of a double down, but in the middle of the double down, there was like a ton, which is not needed at all. But then again, the airtime does look good because there's this like outer banked hill, which looks rad. So that's cool. I do think the one looks kind of repetitive because it's airtime involved in airtime once again involved in banked ton than it wasn't. So I don't know what to think of that, but still. The top moments for me, in my opinion, are gonna be the drop and the outer bank hill. Because this outer bank hill is low to the ground, so you'll be flying through it. And in my opinion, I know it's the thousandth time of me staying, in my opinion. But I think this coaster looks decent, like worse than Scouts and Stormy, but better than Fahrenheit. Also, guys, when Wildcat opens, if Horsey Park Enthusiast has hosted a Wildcat Revenge meetup, I will with no doubt be attending it. So, if you do, so if you do see me, though, feel free to say hi. But however, I don't get how this would run in the winter during Christmas Candy Lane, when it could, like, possibly valley. But that's on the park themselves, not me. And with no doubt, I'll also be at one of the, at one of the member previews. So in the summer, if you see me there, feel free to say hi, because I'll be loving this all day to get a good feel for the ride. The one positive thing coming from all this is that I really like the color scheme due to red being my favorite color. Um, another good thing is I'm glad they have a load and unload station because that will help dispatchers greatly. Which Hoshi Park really needs, because their dispatchers are not the best. 
you know what up away they wouldn't have to wait for people to get off to open the gates he could let people right on okay so i really hope you enjoy my analysis on this because i had a fun time watching it no but for real um this coast it looks like a top five at Hosea and i can't wait to ride it in the summer of 2023 and also if you couldn't tell every time i was watching this roller coaster it was a complete joke i actually am kind of pumped to ride this but the only thing that wanted sunk is when i said that they that the record they book sucks because well it does but that's about it. So anyway, if you do if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up for my roller coaster for more roller coaster content like this coming soon. And feel free to subscribe at will and I'll see you guys with the next video. Theme Park Retrospective out.